What's Gucci with y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today's the day I drop bars. So I don't know what view is at right now, but make sure y'all go check it out because the video will be out when this video is out. Um, we're trying to hit 100,000 views in a week. I don't know what we did yet, but um, I hope it's good, guys. And Also, um, I'm going to homie's house right now. As y'all can see in the title, Smoke Sesh with the homies. And uh, let's get it. Stay tuned for that. A whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of gang shit. Yo, oh shit. Oh shit. You got Dom in this bitch. Oh shit. Yo, we just, I just dropped the fucking bars, bro. Y'all gotta go check that out, or whatever. But, uh, smoke sesh, you know what I'm saying, with the homie. Today we got a hemp gar. Um, I'm not even sure what flavor this one is, but it's the hemp way. You know what I'm saying? No, no tobacco, no nicotine. That's fine with me. I don't want it to be like I need nicotine or anything like that. On the roof, you know what I'm saying? This is my shit right here. Like, I wish I could just be right here every morning just doing a vlog. Start it off. I need me a fucking... I need me one of those fucking... <laughs> Damn. I need me, like, a fucking apartment all the way in the top, top, top. You know those, like, hotel type shit? Balcony and all that. I need one of those. That shit live. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ready? Do it for the time. Yeah. That shit was easy. Yeah. <laughs> My bro got a Rolex. He tried to hide me. Trying to hide the Rolex from the vlog. It's just a Michael Kors. Some slight. Some slight on them. Yeah. Alright, y'all. We just um, gonna get something to eat. Time to get it, let's go. Not the same. Yeah. You trying to eat it? This is the red dot. She got the red dot. Oh shit. Big sauce game. Ooh, Throw that shit up. I'm gone. Nah. Okay, eat the paper we would, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fresh, I'm clean, I'm straight on school. Dropped the whole 500 headaches. Gangway. Let's motherfucker get this cake. Yeah, dig. For the fit, you spent 500 on a bitch. Stick to the script, young Mike never switch. Bitch, I'm gon' hit 
bitch, I'm gon' hit Young Mike, never miss, ayy Bodies on top of them bodies, we pull up with K's and bath with the shoddy One day I'ma pull in the Audi, that's when I get millions all up in the lobby King of the hill like Bobby, San Antonio flexing you copy Take a hit like I am Rocky, mouthpiece be on that hockey I've been doing my little thing, I won't switch for that little change They say souls for the fame, you got me fucked up, bitch, you lame For the top I'm gonna aim, I'm kicking shit just like you can You can't hang, bitch, you ain't game you can hang, we not the same, Hey. So when no say tax, I stay on my Texas shit. 500 for the fit, you spend 500 on a bitch. Stick to the script, young Mike never switch. Bitch, I'm going hit, young Mike never miss. Hey, in Texas we rocking and glocking and popping, no stopping, we dropping. Granny days, Mary Poppins. Big birds be flocking in the hood, had no option but to get it out the tropics. Do this shit for my fam, do this shit for my city. San Antonio, we hit your home, got a couple hitters right with me. Stacking up for that Bentley on that big ass B deadly. You can't hit me on my celly. Piss on you just like our Kelly. Fuck it, get it, bitch. Get ready, point is steady. This get heavy. Skirt off foreign, ain't no Chevy. Skirt off foreign, ain't no Chevy. Walk in a trap with them bricks and your bitch. She on the hit a dick, cause she love the Texas drip. Hey. Run up hollow tips, pop her up like a zit. Had to get this guap together like a fucking nick. Two with no say text, I stay on my Texas shit. 500 for the fit, you spend 500 on a bitch. Stick to the script, young Mike never switch. Bitch, I'm gon' hit, young Mike never miss. Hey. Ugly ass. What's Gucci with y'all, man? We back at it. Um, just left the fucking. Canes or whatever and left homie and shit, but um Today, uh, I was supposed to just have a video about chill session with the homies, but I'm gonna change that up I have a interesting story for y'all. So, um I just y'all can see in the title. That's what the story is. But anyway, um, so this is how it happened guys so one day I remember we woke up and we went to our neighbor's house. It was upstairs neighbors and they had like Vicodins. I don't know if y'all know what Vicodins are, but they had some Vicodins, so we started um, buying some Vicodins. I think we bought like 12 Vicodins, and it was four of us. So we each got four uh, Vicodins, right? Then we had some bars, which I don't know what bars is. is Xanax, right? Then we had some Xanax, man, and we just like... <coughs> We had three each. It was four of us. It was my brother and my homie E and my homie M. And um, we had four Vicodins each. And we had three bars each, yellow school buses. So, um, and we had some bud, of course, you know what I'm saying? And we we're just chilling. But um, this is how it started, man. This is how it started. So it was like a Wednesday or a Thursday. Like I remember it wasn't the weekend. It was like a Thursday, I think. And um This is a, this is it's really fading to me because I don't remember half the stuff, but like I'm trying to remember as we go. So this is where I remember we started off. We started off with the Vicodins somehow and we started popping the Vicodins. So I remember I popped like three Vicodins. Everybody else popped three Vicodins, you know. We're all Vicodin out right now. Then we got the bars and we just started popping the bars. So I remember I popped like two bars at the time, you know, and everybody else popped two. And um, so now we're off three Vicodins and two bars. And everybody else got, everybody has one thing left, you know what I'm saying, of each. So um, this is how it happened. So we're inside the apartment chilling. Next thing I remember, my brother Matt's like this on the fucking chair he's all knocked out like dead and then my homie e's like well it's me m and e and we're just like damn this nigga don't know how to hang right right and then homie m is next homie m's like 
he's dead now too. And then um, fucking me and E were like, damn, we're the only ones who be hanging, bro, all the time. I'm like, yes, bro. They be like, soup. They be getting super high so fast. And um, I remember just chilling, right? I'm like, damn. I wish I could get on their level. How the fuck? I mean, they're they're on the chair with their back like the exorcist. And their mouth open and their eyes closed. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I need to get on their level. But nah, man. They were fucked up. But anyway, so um, me and E, we look at their, their stash. They have a bar and a Vicodin left. Um, both of them. So me and E's dumbass were like, nigga. They don't need that shit. Boo, we take their shit. <laughs> I remember I popped that shit. Boo. I put, so now I was off like, I was off like four, four. I was off four Vicodins and four on three bars at the time now we still got one i still got one bar and one vicodin right and now at this point e is e is fucking doing the same shit as homie m and my brother they're all like on the chairs i'm like oh shit and then my grandma comes in right and she's like are they okay are they okay i'm like yes nana they're they're okay they're okay they just did some pills, and she's all like, man, I don't want y'all doing pills. Or, I'm like, I know, I know, it, but it's not nothing bad like that. Like, we're not doing big drugs or nothing. Just some Vicodins and stuff. But anyway, so, um, so basically, this is all I remember after that. I don't know how or what happened. I think I blacked out like them. But I remember the last time I remember was we were from... We were just chilling on that table, and everybody was knocked out. Then it just skipped the whole scene. Like, you skip a movie, and you don't see that part. It just goes to this part. That's what happened in my mind. Like, for real, for real. To this day, I don't know how this scene happened. But it just skipped to a part where my brother and my grandma was arguing. And I was backing up my brother because I think my grandma was just being a bitch that day. So I was just, um... Excuse my language, guys, but I was just like chilling, like, and then I, I remember I, my grandma and my brother was arguing, and I was on my brother's side, so my grandma got mad at me for some reason. But my brother's like, "Pack all my stuff, I gotta get out of here, whatever." The cops are coming. I said, "All right, bet." Boom. So I fucking I pack all my brother's stuff. This is what I remember, guys. I pack all my brother's stuff in a bas basket and I put it to the curb, and he gets it with his girl. I'm like, "When you gonna come back, bro?" He's all like. I don't know, I don't know, uh, yada yada. I'm like, all right, bro, be careful, man. Uh, love you, whatever. So, boom, I'm coming back home, and I'm with homie E and homie M. I'm coming back to my grandma's, and I'm locked out. I'm like, what the fuck? How am I locked out? And I'm just like, I'm knocking on my grandma's window, and, she, and I go to the door, and I knock again, and my grandma's at the door, and she's like, who is it? I said, it's me, nana, open up. What the fuck? She's all like, no, the cops are outside waiting. I said, like, for me, like, I, I don't know what she was talking about, but I was like, the cops? I said, hold up. I told homie E and homie M to hold up. They're right by the door now. And I told them, hold up. I go around the, to the backyard, and I see a cop car, and he's just waiting for somebody, I guess me or whatever. And he gets out the cop car, and he just he he puts me in handcuffs immediately. Like, I didn't run or nothing because I was confused. I was like... I didn't know what I did. I don't know what was going on. I, I was freaking gone. You know what I'm saying? Then I fucking... I'm in handcuffs and they're walking me around to another squad car. Which is so weird. It wasn't the car that was there. It was it was confusing. Wait. His squad car was in the backyard. See, I don't remember a lot of it. His squad car was in the backyard. He was in the backyard. He walked me to the squad car, but when as he was doing that, my homie E and my homie M looked at me, and I was smiling. I'm like, bruh, fuck, I fucked up. And they're just like, oh, what the fuck? I seen them look at me like that with that F, what the F uh, look on their face, you know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm walking to the squad car, and I'm finally in the squad car, and I'm telling this cop, like, what the fuck? I didn't even do nothing. Y'all got the wrong person. You got me fucked up. My bad, guys, for the language again. Y'all got me messed up. Yaddy, yaddy. I'm like, bruh, let me out, bro. What the hell? I didn't even do nothing. Yaddy, yaddy. And then I'm, I finally started cussing at him. I'm just like, bruh, F you. 
Oh, uh, my people's got four fives on deck. You fin they finna come right now and they finna wet your ass up. You better watch yourself. You better I was I was being dumb guys. Don't ever do that guys. I'm telling y'all right now. This is something y'all should never do because I got terroristic threats that day for doing so. And um I'm I, I tell them all that right and then like two minutes go by and you see my homies coming around the corner, bro. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. He locks the door immediately, bro. And he's just like he he started he started being scared, bro. Like he grabbed his hand on the weapon, bro. And they're coming to the door and they're like, "Open up, open up, um, kitty." I'm gonna say kitty because I'm not gonna cuss too much. Open up, kitty. Open up. And he they're trying to open the door and shit. And uh, it wasn't even he locked it. You know what I'm saying? They're like, "Yeah, you a you a kitty, you a kitty." And he was really scared, bro. And cause all the stuff I was saying, and then they come around the corner, bro. How would you feel? You're like, oh shoot, he's, he's not, he's not lying. So boom, I see them run. So they tell me that they ran around the, uh, cause I told them to go. I was doing that with my head because he called for backup. He said they had two males, possibly armed, black males, possibly armed, African males. Matter of fact, he said, and um. I remember I was like, go, go, go. But my hands are behind my back, so I can't move my hands. So I'm doing this with my head. I'm like, go, go, go. And I guess they saw me, so they ran. And they ran to the back, to the back. Um, It's where y'all see on the bars video, where I do the, where y'all see the, the grass and all that stuff, where I'm at those apartments, where you can see. That's the apartments we were in. That's the apartments I used to be at. Um, it's They ran to that, that uh back spot where all the grass is, the alley, you know what I'm saying? They ran to that spot, and they said that there was two female officers, and they came with the pistols, and they pointed them at them, and then they got they made them get on their knees, and then they we all came into the jail set together, right? And we're all finally into this one waiting room where we get our fingerprints before we go to the jail or whatever. And um, I, it's like the sheriff's office. And I remember everybody... uh. We were counting on everybody there, bro. We're like, look at this dude's shoes, bro. This dude looks like, you know what I'm saying? We were just having fun clowning on the officers. And the officers were getting, like, really mad. Like, they had to separate us and stuff because we were just, like, having the time of our life. Like I said, we were gone. At the same time, I was like, bro, what, why'd y'all do that? They said, we never been to jail before. We wanted to see what it was like. And I said, damn. Y'all savage, bro. And it's just like. They were like, bro, and on top of that, bro, we're not about to let you go down and do that shit yourself, bro. Like, we got you. I'm like, damn. Those are the people I still fuck with today, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still love them, you know what I'm saying? Like, not on some gay shit, but, you know, like, brother shit. Like, we was brothers, bro, and we still are brothers. Like, I'm not trying to hold nobody or anything like that, but we all bossed up and we all doing our own thing. We all have our own businesses. We all have our own careers ahead of us, you know? Um, a couple of us, you know, still on, are not on shit, but, um, it's okay because I know most of us leveled up. Who would have thought, you know? Anyway, so, um, long story short, I blacked out again and I remember waking up in my cell in Juvenile. They used to wake us up at six o'clock in the morning or five o'clock for hygiene, which means you got to brush your teeth. And, uh, you know, deodorant or whatever. They do that every morning, 5 o'clock. Now, you don't have to uh, wake up for hygiene. And sometimes they do it after breakfast now. Which is awesome because back then they used to wake us up that early to do that shit. But anyway, I woke up and I remember I thought I was on my grandma's couch. So when I woke up, I thought it was my grandma. But guess what? I see some fucking dude and he's like holding a bag of hygiene. I'm like, how the fuck? I'm like, oh, and they all started coming back to me, like, like a movie you forget, but then you remember, and it's just like, oh, that really happened? Fuck. <laughs> you wake up in your cell, you don't know what the fuck happened, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, where's, what the hell, man? Oh, no, I don't even know what my charges are. And guess what my charges were the whole time? Just the terroristic threats. Because I was fucking talking shit to the cop. I would have got released. I didn't have no charges. Like I told you, I didn't do nothing. But guess what? The terroristic threats is what I was sitting in juvenile for, guys. Then, I finally, I get I get home in like two and a half weeks. I finally come home. You know, I got detained for two, two weeks. So about two and a half weeks, I finally come home. And um, no matter of fact, I did a month. I did a whole month. So I, I come home, I'm thinking I'm swollen shit because I did a month, non-stop month push-ups, you know, you do get like your chest built. 
But I remember I came home, I saw my homies. My homie, one of my homies got out in 10 days. Another homie got out. I think he got bailed out because he went to county. So he, he did good. But um, long story short, guys, it was like a pretty wild experience. And that's why I don't do pills, anything like that anymore, like Xanax or anything like that. Because I know, like, I, I lose stuff and I forget stuff. The way I lose stuff is because I black out and I forget. So I don't do none of that stuff, you know. I drink my own drinks. I make sure I don't get poisoned or none of that stuff. But, like, this shit was a crazy story, guys. Like, it was pretty crazy. It was wild. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Make sure y'all go check out the bars. We're trying to hit 100,000 views in one week. This first day of bars was kind of, I, I, I don't want to say unsatisfying, but, like, I love y'all a lot, and I, I appreciate everything that y'all have done, but I think that this video was not the best due to me. I thought I was going to be on probation when I got out of, of and then this video was going to come out. That's why I thought I was going to, I just, it's a long story, but this video was not like, you know, we didn't show nothing, like, cool, like, guns and drugs and stuff, you know? That's just because I thought I was going to be on probation. I thought I was going to be, when this video dropped bars, I, I was supposed to be on probation or in jail. You remember? Because I, I was dealing with this court shit. But, um, that's not the case. I actually got off of this easy and I still had the bars up and there's no way we could have redid it. But anyway, um, I do have some new stuff coming out. It's up to y'all. Do y'all want to hear the Doty Sauce Drip music video? And I'm going to change and make it better. Make it sound better. Or the Texas Drip. I also have two new verses that y'all heard in the beginning of the song. Um, I could redo that and y'all just let me know. It's up to y'all. Or should I just come out with some new heat that none of y'all heard before and just see what that does? It's all up to y'all, man. Because honestly, I drop bars. Because it was at 70k a long time ago. And I finally, I was always ticking to myself, I gotta drop a visual to that. And Bars is kinda old. It's an old song. But guess what? It's something that I had to do because it got in that much views on the audio. I was like, dude, I gotta do the visual for it. And I remember promising my homies a visual for that and I finally did a visual for it. So, that's out the way. But I'm not even worried about it because you know what? Chief called and he said this isn't this isn't this isn't it. He was he was like he was explaining to me, he's like, bro, like it was it when you first dropped it, but then you waited too long to drop the visual and this is the outcome of that. But you never know. It could get recommended, guys. So what I would like y'all to do right now is go to the bars video, watch it, drop a comment, drop a like. Um, make sure y'all share it. It's a share button right there. Y'all can share it to y'all uh, social medias, all that good stuff. And um, I'm telling y'all right now, once this is 100K, I'm working on the next vi visual. I promise y'all that. So please let this hit 100K so I could actually pursue this rap stuff and keep on going, you know. I'm never gonna give up, but that's just saying I'm not gonna give up on 100k when it hits 100k. Then I'm gonna drop my next uh, visual. So, um, take care, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this story. It's a Alright, you guys. My fault. The camera kind of died, but, um, <clears throat> take care. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this story. And just stay tuned for more five videos. Okay. Oh,